Welcome back, you're watching Shorty is Dope TV, and this video is my long-awaited sneaker collection slash sneaker haul. Now, a lot of these shoes are, I like to say they're pretty new, um, and some of them are from when I first collected or just really, really wanted some of these shoes and had to have them. So before I start, I wanna say that I'm not new to this. <laughs> I have been collecting sneakers since like grade six or seven, a lot of which I don't have anymore. But the point is, I'm an OG in the game, okay? So don't get it twisted. I used to be on Nike Talk, ISS, um, sneaker, what was it, female sneaker fiends or something like that. A lot of these sneaker websites. So back in the day when you wanted to find a shoe that you couldn't get or it wasn't in stores, you would go on these little sneaker forms and try to find someone who's selling them and it was super sketchy, it was super scary. But pretty much what you had to do is contact the person, say, hey, I'm interested in buying your shoes. And it would just kind of go on from there and then you would agree to send them the money through either PayPal or like Money Mart, like a money transfer, and then they would agree to send the shoes. But you would only do the transactions with people that were well known in the community and weren't known to take your money and run. So that's pretty much how I got into the sneaker game. And I used to be on Nike Talk for my friends, getting them exclusive shoes that we couldn't find or just shoes that we grew up knowing that like that was the shoe, you know? Anyway, enough of my ranting on, just know that you know, I've been in the game. I'm gonna start with some of the shoes that were my favorites back in the day, and I like to call them my holy grails, meaning that like this was my like my one and only shoe I had to have. I got dressed at like six o'clock in the morning, took the bus to the mall, and waited in line until the mall opened, went to the store, waited outside the store, all that crap. That's how it was. It wasn't no raffle, nothing like that. Anyways, the first shoe that I have, this is my ultimate holy grail, and you're gonna be able to tell by how beat these look. These are the Space Jams, AKA Jordan 11s. And as you can see, I beat these to the ground, okay? When I got these, I tried to wear them every day for as long as it took until they started to stink and still they started to peel like this is peeling back here and i got these back in 2009 um i wanted to get the originals but that just wasn't possible but as you can see by the look of this this has been worn very very good so love these shoes never getting rid of them next is my second holy grail these are the air max 95s in neon green and i got these in new york maybe four or five years ago and i've always been looking for them they were just super hard to get super hard to find and here they are i don't wear these as much anymore because i still want to keep them in somewhat good condition but i did kill these a lot as well next we have well these are kind of my holy grails too but they weren't on the list like the other two these are the Jordan 5 Laney's. Next we have, these are Hirachis. These are the Hyper Pink Hirachis. As you can see, the back has like this green detail and then it's like black and gray. We have the gray here, green details here. And these were a pair of Hirachis that I also had to have. I actually got my cousin in New Jersey to pick these up for me and send them to me, that's how fly these were and as always it wasn't available in Canada so I had to do what I had to do to get my hands on those. Next we have just some classic black Roche runs. Um, nothing really too special about these. Don't really care for them anymore. If I'm going to the gym or something I'll throw these on but other than that mm, not really too hype about those. Next we have some Adidas EQTs. Um, these were also a shoe that was kind of brought back from a few years ago. As you can see, it has like this reflective pink. If I were to turn off the lights, this part would kind of reflect. It's a cool detail that I like about these shoes. Um, I got Cali, the white version. I kind of wish I got them for myself, but it's all good. These are very lightweight and comfy and yeah, sick. 
Next, we have some classic all white Adidas shell toes. Next up, we have another beater from last summer. <laughs> These are the all white Adidas Ultra Boosts. It has this knit material all the way around. And as you can see, well, they probably don't look that beat to you guys, but I beat these last summer. These were the shoes I was wearing almost every single day. Super lightweight, super comfy. The best part about these shoes is the boost material on the bottom. They also use this material on Nomads and on Yeezys. And these shoes are like walking on clouds. You can't go without a pair of these if you don't have a pair already. All right, next pair is my black and white Adidas Nomads. I got these in New York also. Um, I think these reflect, do they? I think these might reflect, I'm not too sure, I don't remember. These are another pair of my beaters. I throw these on when I'm going to the grocery store, if I'm running to the mall. I wish I could get some more pair of these, but ever since everyone started jumping on them, they're super hard to find. They make them super rare now, so not much I can do about that. And my second pair of Adidas Nomads are the XR1 version. This is from a camel pack that came out not too long ago. The only thing I don't like about these is that they make them a lot bigger than the original ones. So I got these in my normal size just thinking, you know, I have a pair already, I'll just get my regular size. Well, these ones are a lot wider, so they're kind of loose. I haven't worn them yet. I will eventually, but I don't think these are gonna be something I'm gonna keep for a long time. They're cute though. Next, I'm gonna show you all of the Rihanna Fenty Creepers that I own. I'll start with the first pair that I got. All right, so this one, I don't even know if there's a special name for these, but these are like, I like to call them the Gucci colors because it has like the green suede with the burgundy and then the gum bottom. My favorite part about the shoe is the gum bottom because they're not gonna show as much dirt and wear and tear. I have these in the eight and a half. I'm sorry, I didn't tell you guys all my sizes, but I'm a size seven in men's, eight and a half in women's. All my J's are a size seven. My Hirachis ooh, are a size, is it a size eight? Yeah, size eight men's because you have to go up a size. I actually got these online from Brown's Shoes. It's a store we have out here in Canada, and yeah, I get lucky at Browns. My second and third pair was a part of the velvet pack. Burgundy velvet and all black velvet. I really like these. The only thing is I got these in the eight and a half and these in the eight because I didn't get so lucky when I got to the store that day. They stretch a little bit, but I don't know. You know, this isn't an everyday shoe, but it's still so cute. I love them. And yeah, I wish I got some of the first ones that came out because they had like the black version of these with the gum bottom. I never got a chance to get those, but now that I know the spots, I'm gonna be getting the rest of them. My last pair of creepers are the black and white ones that just came out not too long ago. These are a must, like these are a staple shoe. These go well with everything. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. Oh, I just love these. It's really worth it to me anyway, because Rihanna's my girl. We're both Bayesian, so you know, I had to support the homie. Yeah, those are all my creepers. I wish I had more, but I don't. <sighs> Maybe I'll try to get some more. These are the Nike Air Up Tempo in Olympic colors. I have been looking for these for so long. Yeah, get your life together. I've always wanted the black and white ones. I didn't get lucky with getting those, but I did find these. The only thing I would say about these is they are really clunky. These are in a size seven kids. Next, I have some Air Max 90s. This is from the dessert pack, I'm pretty sure it's called. And these are the Shanghai ones. Nike came out with like a dessert pack. I think one of them was like strawberry shortcake. I don't really know what these were. <laughs> and the stupid thing is, the first day I got them, I wore them in New York. And you guys know how dirty New York is. I'm sorry, I love my New Yorkers, but them streets out there be dirty, okay? Look at this. Like, since the day I wore these in New York, this will not go away. This is like centuries of 
New York street on my foot and I only wore it like once or twice. All right, these are really something I should be showing you guys. These are the KD, I think seven. I have no idea. As you can tell, I'm not really a KD fan. These are the Easter pack KDs. I wear them to the gym. Sometimes I play ball in them. These are some Vans skate highs. Um, these are the skinny version because I don't like how wide the regular ones look. So I got these, these are in a size, oh, hold on, six and a half men. Up next we got some Adidas tubular shadow knit. These are in a size seven kids. These are kind of like poor man Yeezys, people like to call them, <laughs> cause they look like Yeezys, but they're not, but they're still cute. My fiance Trey has like three pairs of these. He just loves them. Oh yeah. This is um, another pair of Hirachis. These are one of the first colorways that came out. Don't quote me on it. I have no idea what the colorway is called, but I have these in a size seven kids and it was my biggest mistake because I never knew how small they fit. I can wear them, but for a long period of time, they're super tight. Next, I have a pair of Nike Cortez and these are super cute. I find that the detail on these are like, it's just amazing. And the color too, it's like this nice tan color. And this is a part of a Lux pack. There were also some Air Max 90s and some Air Max Theas that came out in all similar colors. But I've always wanted a pair of Nike Cortez. I just didn't really like the classic black and white because you know, like there's so many black and white shoes. These colors really stood out to me. I really thought they were cute. Next, these are the Nike Air Jordan 1s band, except I didn't get the X. These ones are the ones that came out last year. Um, just another classic, I guess. And everyone's shoe has some kind of number code in there. So the first number is your size and then it ends with the X. The bands that I wanted is supposed to have an X on the back, but for some reason, I don't know what Jordan brand is doing, but they decided not to include the X on these pairs, so. What can you do? But these are like a staple shoe. You can dress these up, dress these down, whatever you want to do. They go with pretty much everything. And I love high top ones. Next is my pair of Nike Fly Knit Racers. These shoes are so, so comfortable. <laughs> you don't understand. So the shoe is completely made out of fly knit material. And if you look all the way around, it kind of goes from black to white. People call these the Oreos. All right, next up we have the Nike Lunar Charge Essential. I just like the silhouette of it. I think it's like a super smooth shoe. I got these in gray and green, also a size seven in kids. And yeah, like I think it's just so sick. Right down here has Nike carved into the sole. Um, and then you have like this speckled detail going on here. You have like a little mesh detail going on here as well. And this whole shoe is one. So usually like the tongue would detach from the shoe. And this is all one material, as you can see. Next, we have the Jordan 11 7210, I believe. I hope I'm right about that. I really like these ones because this is the first one that was made with leather up on here. North Carolina or UNC low top Jordan 11s. I just got these recently. I haven't worn them yet, but these are super cute. I feel like you can wear these with denim. You can wear these with all white. You can throw on some black. This next shoe I have wanted ever since high school. And back then I wasn't able to get shoes as much as I am now, obviously I'm an adult now and I can buy what I want, but back then I didn't even know these came out and my cousin was wearing them and I'm like, where'd you get those? She's like, oh, um, Foot Locker or Champs or whatever. I didn't even know about them first of all. And then when I went to go see if I could possibly get them, they were nowhere to be found. So these are the Air Jordan 1 New Loves and I'm pretty sure they came in a pack. The other pair was black, and, black red and white and it looked like this but I'm pretty sure it had suede. So if you guys can see, all the black parts are suede on this shoe. And that's what makes it so sick. The bottom is is like, um, it's see-through yellow. I just got these in the mail today. I found out that they were re-releasing and then I was looking around for a release date and I couldn't find it. And then I was browsing on Nike.com and seen them just sitting there. I was like, get in my cart, get in my cart right now. 
So yeah, these are another shoe that I've always wanted since high school. Finally got them and you know I'm gonna slay in them. So look out for that in the post. All right, we got three pairs left. I'm gonna start with these. There we go. These are the Nike Vapor Max. These came out on Air Max Day this year. And honestly, this is pretty much like the evolution of Air Maxes and where they're going. I'm so dumb though. I wore these in the desert in Dubai because I didn't have any other shoes to sacrifice. So I sacrificed these to the Dubai desert. <laughs> But they still look good, like they're still in great condition. Second last pair of shoes are, oh, I'm so happy I got these ones too. I just got these ones recently. These are the Nike Air Max 97 Silver Bullet. Oh my gosh, this is another shoe that I've always wanted for so long and they just recently came out again around Air Max Day. Um, the sickest thing about these shoes is that this whole front reflects. So all of these lines, so I'm pretty sure it's this one, this one, and this one, these all reflect. So when you're in the dark or whatever, these shoes will still shine, okay? Um, I got these in a size eight and a half women's. All right, and my last pair to share is the Yeezy V2s in black and cream white. I was lucky enough to get surprised by these in a prank by my lovely Trey. Um, Yeezys are super comfortable. I just wish that they were easier to get. You know how it goes. There's like scammers, scam raffles, all that kind of stuff going on. Um, he got these from Flight Club, uh, but Flight Club is overpriced. But what can you do? It's either you take a L or you pay a little bit more to get what you want. So that is it for my sneaker haul. Um, I really wish I had a lot of my old shoes to show you, but they were just not in condition to be shown like that. And they didn't really make it. So yeah. How many pairs was that? I couldn't tell you. I can count though. So that was 28 pairs of shoes. I used to have more before, but as I told you, I had to do a little cleanse, get rid of the old stuff. All right, so that's it for my sneaker collection. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. And if you wanna keep up with me, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. See you guys in my next video.